my dear friend in christ there is a very inspiring story of a young navy doctor named tom dooley fresh from the medical college one evening around the year 1950 the ship on which he was traveling had stopped to pick up over a thousand refugees off the coast of vietnam and he was the only doctor on board that ship looking at the agony on the faces of the refugees and the wounds on their bodies his heart was stirred with compassion and he took upon himself the arduous task of attending to each of them and my dear friend in christ remember he was the only doctor on board that ship picking up little pieces of wood and cloth that he found lying on the ship he began bandaging the wounded with the medicines he had and he gave relief even to fractured limbs My dear friend in Christ he began to see the joy radiating from their faces the joy not so much because they got medical help but because they found someone who cared for them who loved them Dr Tom began to experience a joy that he had never experienced all his life when he finished serving his term in the navy he began traveling across asia to work among the poor looking at his work hundreds of volunteers flocked to help him and one day he confided with his colleague that the sermon on the mount preached by Jesus we find it in the gospel of Matthew chapter 5 he said especially the verses commonly called the beatitudes had inspired him because they promised an undying happiness dr tom explained how he understood the verse blessed are those who mourn for they will be comforted and this is the way he explained it happy are those who become more conscious of the suffering and the sorrow of others and bring relief to them my dear friend in christ the beatitudes are often referred to as the magna carta in latin meaning the great charter of christianity in fact mahatma gandhi in his autobiography my experiments with truth called it a great sermon my dear friend in christ the years of the great economic depression in the decade preceding the second world war brought devastation to many countries both rich and poor across the world poverty and misery swept across the world during that period a team of government officials was sent to meet the dwellers in the Tennessee mountain region to give financial relief to the poor farmers so that they could restore their farming and repair their homes one of the officials met a lady living in a little hut that was so miserable that it was hardly habitable looking with sympathy upon her the official said and asked her If the government gave you two hundred dollars, what would you do with it? To their surprise, she replied, "I will give the money to the poor." My dear friend in Christ, true happiness is not something that comes to us on a platter, on a plate, but it is the result of our acts of kindness towards one another. May the Lord. fill your heart with abundance of kindness and may you reach out to those who are in need may you have a good and godly day